Salute to Hoops, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Another day. Special day today. It's Christmas, so Merry Christmas to all you guys who are celebrating. I did all my celebrating yesterday with the family, and uh, it was pretty fun. So today I figured while everyone's doing the whole Christmas thing, put out a nice little video for you once you get done opening presents, so on and so forth. If you're getting cards today, I hope you get some big hits, silver prisms, autos, whatever you want. Uh, but yesterday I went down to my sister's house down in Illinois and stopped at a hobby shop down there just for the heck of it. They were open and uh, I'm going to call it the Christmas Eve miracle because I got a bunch of solid cards, uh, which I'll be showing you after we rip some NBA hoops. So before we get into it, go ahead and like and subscribe, guys, please. Subscriber count is going up. Uh, we're at 130 subs, which is sweet. Uh, Daniel Gafford's joining us today. It's from my last NBA Hoops rip, so I'm hoping for some cool stuff in here. But please, if you haven't done so, subscribe. Uh, we're getting there, guys. Channel's growing steadily, and it's just a good time overall. So tell your friends what's going on here at the Salute to Hoops channel. We have just the one blaster today of some NBA Hoops, guys. Kind of hard, Kind of hard to find it, um, but... Hopefully we have something good in here, so maybe a little Zion jaw action, who knows. And then I will go over what I purchased at the hobby shop yesterday. You guys are going to like it for sure. I know I did. Alright, we got Zubak, we got Dennis Smith Jr. little Brandon Clark action, we will definitely take that. And Jalen Noel, we'll take him too, for sure. Not a bad uh, first pack there at all. If the if Santa Claus gave you guys some cards today, consider yourself lucky. Don't know how he uh, got a hold of some cards, but hopefully there's some big hits in there for you guys. Boom, we got some Zion Williamson action. Little Marvin Bagley. I'll take that actually. Marvin Bagley has been injured, but I got faith in the guy. Maybe he can make a comeback. Trey Young. Ursan Ilyasova. Nas Reed, rookie. And Donovan Mitchell, NBA City. I actually have a Nas Reed auto. I don't know too much about the guy at all, to be honest with you, so. And we're making a mess early on. Terry Rozier. Buddy Heald. P.J. Washington will take him. Kevin Porter, Silver Prism. Nice box. Nice box so far. Um, Alright, here we go. Jesus. Temperamental these things are sometimes, guys. Kelly Olenix. Olenix. Frank Nilakina. Terrence Mann, and Michael Kidd Gilchrist, eesh. Definitely looking forward to watching the games today, guys. I do have to go to work, but I'm going to be sneaking in some game watching for sure. Pascal Siakam, RJ Barrett, nice, and Malik Monk. I don't know what that's... Uh, Parallels called there. It looks like disco, but it's obviously not the disco. Eric Gordon, Evan Fournier, Chris Paul, Jaron Jackson Jr., Silver Prism, second year, backstage pass. Take that. Landry Schmidt, Hassan Whiteside. Luca Simonic, I will always take him. And Miles Bridges. Alright. Not a bad box by any means. Uh, we can go over the hits here and then I'll show you guys what I got at the hobby shop. Nice little Luca Simonic. Jaron Jackson, Silver Prism Backstage Pass, second year. RJ Barrett. Terrence Mann. Kevin Porter, Silver. 
PJ Washington, Marvin Bagley. Nice little Zion here. I got the same uh, John Morant one. So on the last break, which was decent. Jalen Noel, Brandon Clark, and then the Nas Reed. All right. We will put all these over here. Moving on, guys. Okay, so the story behind this, I gave you a brief synopsis. Went down to my sister's house, stopped at the card shop. It was me and the only, I was the only one in there with the uh, guy that was working there. They're a fairly new shop. And he let me go through the box of basketball that they had, and I was able to make a solid deal. So I spent $100 total, actually 103 with tax, uh, but 100 bucks for all these cards that I just got wasn't too bad at all. So the first cards I'll go over are going to be some uh, Michael Bridges Silver Prisms. Paid 6 bucks for these, but in the end it paid off for sure. Um, but there's a few of these here, Michael Bridges. I saw him playing. He had a couple of good games last year. And uh, during the Bulls game, uh, when they played the Bulls, he was looking really good as far as three-point shooting. So picked up some of those. These Obsidians uh, are super dope. I got two of the Obsidians here of Michael Bridges, both rookie cards. Uh, the blue one's out of 99. And this is just a regular base obsidian, I believe, not numbered to anything. But still super dope looking cards nonetheless, especially that blue. Could not pass up on those. Remember, I, I don't remember how much I paid for each of these. But like I said, I paid 100 bucks total for all the cards that I'm showing you guys. Here's a Majestic Miles Bridges. Also a dope card, and this is numbered to uh, 249 So... Boom. Hopefully these are some decent little investments here. Possibly my favorite part of yesterday was picking up these Devontae Graham Prism rookies for $1 each. That's correct. These were all $1. And you guys know that I'm a fan of Devontae Graham. I think he's going to have a breakout season this year. And these are already profit on these because they sell for way more than $1. I don't know if the guy just had too much eggnog yesterday or what, but he was throwing me out some good deals and I could not resist them. So $1 each for Devontae Graham Prism Rookie. Next, I picked up a stack of these Dante DiVincenzo Prism Rookies. And these were $2 each. One, two, I believe there's uh, seven of them. Seven Devante, Dante DiVincenzo Rookies. Prisms, two bucks a pop, guys. Insane, I know. Then we have a couple more Dantes that I picked up. Uh, these are from the Elite Series Black Box. I'm not too familiar with it. Uh, but the blue is numbered to 99. And then we just have a regular one right here, which appears to be numbered to 249 as well. Gotta love me some Dante DiVincenzo. Alright, and then I picked up this Chandler Hutchison uh, card. Also Majestic. It's out of 249 He's been having a decent little season, so I figured for $3, why the heck not? Next up, I did pick up some Lucas Amonic Selects. Nothing too special about these. They're just base cards, guys. But I really like Lucas Amonic. Hopefully we get to see a little bit more of him this year. But I believe these were just kind of thrown in the deal. I don't, I don't believe I paid anything for those, which is even sweeter. And then, last but not least, guys. Some Ellie Okobos Prisms. Like I said, I'm unsure, uncertain of how much I paid for all, for these ones, but the grand total was like 103 bucks for all the cards here. So, Eli Okubo might have a decent little season down in, in uh, Phoenix as well. So, might be... We'll see about that investment. Might have been a good one, might have been a bust, but I was on a roll, so I figured why not. Next, we have some Josh Okogi Prism uh, rookie cards. And he might actually might actually be pretty decent over there. 
in Minnesota this year. Uh, he's had some decent games like throughout his career, so maybe uh, this year could be his year. We will definitely see. Maybe I might see a return on this investment as far as both Okogi and Okobo go. Not not huge names right now, but you know you never know. Next, some Dante DiVincenzo rookie crusades. Just base. There's nothing too special about them. They are super clean cards, though, as far as uh, the corners go and edges. And I'm just a fan of him. I'm really hoping that he can kind of get his thing together this year for the Bucks. We got some Marvin Bagley the thirds. Also a guy that I'm hoping can get his, his act together as far as, well, he's just been injured, but uh, there are a lot of players actually like uh, Marvin Bagley, and I know a lot of people that are still a fan of him, still have a lot of faith in him. So, the, And this is the uh, Phoenix series, I believe. I don't know if that's just hobby. Like, I've never seen Phoenix out in, in like, retail or anything. So definitely some pretty sweet-looking cards. And then last but not least, I picked up this uh, DeAndre Ayton rookie card. Also the Phoenix series. Super clean card. And he, he was looking really good against the Bulls the other night, too. I don't know if it was just because Wendell Carter Jr. was guarding him or what, uh, but he did look really solid. So, yeah, that is the Christmas Eve miracle, you guys. Like I said, I picked up all of these cards. I'll show them right here for you. All these for $103, which is a steal in my book for sure. So, all right, guys. I got to get ready for work in a little bit here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas, guys. And should have another video out before the end of the year. So um, definitely looking forward to that. Thanks for the support, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Enjoy the rest of your day. And see you next time. Take it easy.